You know, I've been playing paintball for a very long time. Been shot thousands, if not tens of thousands of times. And after getting shot so much, you kind of just get used to it and it doesn't hurt that much anymore. Getting shot up close always hurts more. Getting shot in the neck used to hurt a lot. But getting shot in the balls always hurts. But it's really not happening all that often, right? Like I said, I've been playing paintball for a very long time and only been shot in the balls one time. It was a very memorable experience though. It was the summer of 2008, Capital Edge Paintball Park. We were playing on the seven man airball field. This is actually a picture of me a few months before that incident. In this picture and when I got shot in the balls, I was using the Angel A1 Fly and wearing this sweet long sleeve tie dye t-shirt with a tiger on the front. And in this picture, I'm actually wearing these like prototype angel pants that have a lot of padding on them. But when I got shot, I was actually wearing some old smart part pants uh, and just boxers underneath. The main reason I played like that day is because it's so freaking hot, you know, here in Sacramento in the middle of the summer, I mean, now we're getting to 115 degrees. So wearing heavy pants or wearing slider shorts underneath those pants, that's just really hot. So I didn't wear slider shorts. Slider shorts are like, you know, compression style brief pant things that have padding built into the hips. You can sometimes find some padding in the tailbone. But what I like most is the padding in the crotch uh, in that groin area, but I didn't wear them. So I was in back center, just playing seven man. We're on the seven man field. So, you know, seven on seven. So we're about two minutes into the point, right? I'm not really sure where everyone's at because we're, you know, a couple minutes in, we're playing rec ball. So there's not a lot of communication, really don't know what's happening. I remember this very vividly and I'm looking around. I'm like, all right, well, I don't really see anyone. I guess I'll move up. There's a bunker, maybe like 30, 40 feet in front of me. Yeah, maybe like 30 feet. And I'm about halfway there, just kind of light jog. Just like, Shout out to his family. It was terrible. I look down, the ball doesn't break. So I'm like, all right, well, I'll just like jog my way to this bunker, right? Get to the bunker and I'm just like, oh God. Just looking down, giving the old, you know, shake. <sighs> Standing there wondering what I'm gonna do. I'm like, am I gonna keep playing? Am I gonna go out? What am I gonna do? So uh, I just, you know, keep playing. 30 seconds later, we're good. Yeah, it was just awful in the moment. And then, you know, get home that evening, take off my pants, I'm looking around. I'm like, okay, well, you know, I don't know. Nothing's weird. Didn't look anything out of the ordinary. The next morning though, wake up and uh, my entire ball sack scrotum whole area is just this color. It's just purple. Didn't hurt at all. Didn't hurt when I pee, nothing happened. It just got purple and blue for like four or five days. Went away, I don't know, I've had no issues. I mean, I don't have any kids and I could be sterile, but <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not doing this to like scare people, you know, getting shot in the balls, getting shot in the nuts is fairly uncommon, right? It's not like it's happening all the time. I mean, most of the time playing paintball, you know, you're behind a bunker, you're hiding, you know, you're crouched up. You're kind of like trying to hide behind stuff, right? So you're not like in the open. You're not typically groin hanging out and your crotch is flying all over the place. In paintball, we're, you know, concealed. So there's the solution to that, right? Those slider shorts. They have padding perfectly placed to protect your groin. They've got those hip pads and they've got that like tailbone pad. But like I said, it's so freaking hot here in Sacramento that I often find myself wearing these really lightweight pants. A lot of the pants that don't have any padding in the groin, hips, knees, there's no padding. And then I also find myself not wanting to wear slider shorts because it's so hot. It's just adding an extra layer of padding and kind of insulation. So the slider shorts here in Sacramento are kind of unbearable at times. So I looked for a solution online and found a soft cup. This is probably the best one I think I found, the Shock Doctor. And I've used this thing three times, stays in place fine, and I think provides enough protection. I mean, I haven't gotten shot in the balls yet and don't really wanna test it out and see how well it works, but it definitely covers and provides way more protection than just my underwear. I think that these are gonna probably work better on your skin too, because they're kinda loose, they're not extremely tight. I like to wear them on just my skin, and then I wear briefs over them and they seem to work best that way. I'm sure you could also wear them with some sort of compression shorts or 
pants or something like that, they'd also work well too. And I think for paintball, having this soft cup style is better, right? I mean, we're not getting shot in that area that often. So there's probably no need for like a hard cup and like extreme protection, like maybe like a catcher would use for baseball. This soft cup style still allows you to be a little bit more mobile. Having that hard cup right there, it just makes moving around a lot more difficult. So this soft style, I like a lot more. You can take that pad out of there to put this thing in the washing machine, clean it up a little bit. I actually find this pad might be a little bit too small kind of, and it kind of sits in the front a little bit. Maybe adding some different style padding even would be better too. You could like cut your own piece of foam and maybe shove it in there to maybe give a little bit more protection. It's awesome. I mean, I've been using the thing because it's so hot in the summer here when I'm playing. Uh, and I, I don't know, I can't play without it. Like, I'm so paranoid about getting shot in the nuts now that, like, I have to wear either slider shorts or the shock doctor. And like I said, in the summer here, it's just too freaking hot for the slider shorts. So I really like the shock doctor or really any of these soft cups. I mean, there's probably a lot of different options. They're all fairly similar. Uh, I just, Found this one on Amazon and uh, I like it the most. If you want one, buy it from the link in the description.